Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Today we have with us Professor Richard Conroy, Chairman of Conroy Gold and Natural Resources, which is listed on the A Market. Uh, morning, Richard. How are you? Good morning, Tura. But how are you? Very good, thank you. Um, you recently made an announcement about the new gold outcrop at uh, Clonterbridge. Um, do you think you can give us a bit more information about this announcement? Well, it's a very exciting announcement for us uh, because, as uh, I think you know, we already have a half million ounce jork resource uh, in one part of the overall Clonterbridge situation. Um, and we've been seeing some very good results in another area nearby called Corcus Ski. Uh, and this prospecting has shown uh, some excellent uh, gold results about halfway between the two, suggesting strongly that they're actually connected up together. And of course, this will be uh, tremendously positive and encouraging uh, as we, we, we move up in our actual uh, amount of resources in the Clontibrit area. So we're really very excited by it. It's a most, most, most positive development. Okay, and at the moment for that, you're in the prospecting phase, is that correct? Yes, this is the prospecting phase there at uh, at, at, at Plantibrit where we've uh, built up the jork resource. That's obviously been done by uh, by drilling. Uh, and in Corcus Key, we've done some uh, drilling and uh, also some trenching, which has shown very good results. Uh, and the fact that the two of them uh, may be uh, joined together, which is strongly suggested by these prospecting results, uh, is, is, is uh, of course, enormously uh, important. Uh, we're looking uh, at uh, a situation in which in, uh, in Tom Tibbert, uh, of course, uh, we have already outlined plans uh, for an open pit development uh, there, uh, and any additional uh, answers uh, would be very welcome. And in the prospecting, this has been uh, gold results uh, from from samples beside the stream. So yet again, it's coming to the surface, uh, just as the gold does in Clontibrit and Corcus Key, uh, and that of course suggests strongly the uh, economic and practical possibility uh, of uh, a standard uh, open pit uh, mine, which could be quite a large one. Yeah. So we're very pleased with these results. I can imagine. So, um, so with the uh, prospecting phase, how long is that going to go on for? Now you've made a discovery, you, you're going to continue to do that? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll be following that up uh, with uh, more detailed work with trenching, sampling, uh, and then I, I don't doubt in due course, uh, drilling and uh, seeing uh, uh, do the structures actually directly connect uh, seems very likely, but that will be confirmed. Uh, by the work that we'll we'll, we'll be doing uh, in, in in the coming time, uh, by 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 trenching and drilling and so on, um, so that that that's basically the follow up. But the main thing is that there's obviously uh, a connection between uh, the two uh, areas, and that's of uh, tremendous importance both from the point of view of the number of gold ounces present uh, and the potential for their development. So it's um, there'll be a lot of work to do. Uh, that will be very nice work. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Um, so w- w- with getting to that next phase, I mean, what is it in, for, for people who don't understand uh, mining and all that? Are we talking lots of red tape? Uh, well, of course, there are, are, are a lot of permits, a lot of red tape that uh, one has to go through. Um, I think we're the one uh, Irish group which has actually uh, brought in a mine uh, before. So we've been, uh, we've been around the course, as it, as it were, uh, and from the very beginning in uh, our work, we always bear in mind that the ultimate objective, if you're fortunate enough to be successful as we have been, is to bring in a mine. Uh, and so therefore, uh, we're always uh, taking that into account in all the work we do. For example, when we're even taking a soil sample, we'll always check with the owner of the land. Uh, we'll make sure that the land is returned to its previous condition. Uh, and as it so happened, the previous mine that we had, that was one at Galmoy, uh, zinc mine, uh, it's actually quoted now in the textbooks as an example of uh, an environmentally acceptable modern mine. And that's the sort of standard we'll be uh, looking at. So we're very familiar with the processes involved uh, and the requirements, and we'll cert- cert- certainly be uh, fully fulfilling them, and at the same time, uh, bringing in an economic mine. Okay, and it's good that you're familiar with the process because one of the uh, questions... Yes, it helps. 
<laughs> it does. Um, one of the questions usually most investors will uh, then ask is, what What are the timescales that you're looking at with this? I mean, are you able to elaborate a bit there? Well, if we only had um, the, 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 the sort of uh, answers in, in Flam Tiberius, and even with half a million answers, of course, you could bring in quite, quite, quite a reasonable uh, open pit uh, mine and uh, the ore actually comes to the surface. Uh, and we're only uh, at the moment drilling down to a maximum of about 200, just over 200 uh, meters. Uh, there's possibly a great deal more at a lower level, and that would be more in the nature of an underground mine. Um, but for the moment, we're, we're, we're looking at something that is, is likely to be uh, open pitable, uh, which is a very straightforward uh, operation uh, in, in, indeed, but you still have to do it to the highest uh, standards. And so uh, it's, it's uh, certainly a, a very positive state to be in. However, um, we're not just looking at half a million ounces or not even just looking at the amounts that may be there in Corcus Key, which the recent results uh, uh, suggest could, 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 could be very good. Uh, we're actually in the overall area of Clontibrit, uh, Denish and Clay Lake. Uh, we already have the half million ounces of Jork, but we've also done uh, an exploration target, that's not a resource, um, but is, is uh, an estimate of, of what might be present in terms of exploration potential. Uh, and when you do that, in addition to the half million ounces, you're probably looking at uh, up to about, uh, or possibly more than uh, eight to nine million ounces. So you're really looking uh, at, uh, even in uh, world industry terms, uh, something which could be of uh, quite serious significance. Um, so that we're making a lot of progress, and I think it's not just going to be a question of one mile, but probably of, of several miles onto the uh, in the general uh, area. But that's all for the future. Of course, uh, you you could say in some ways Christmas has come early a bit for you with the with the. <laughs> well, we're very very happy with the results. I must say, yes. <laughs> right. Um, there was the other announcement uh, that came after this to do with uh, Clay Lake. Um, can you give us a bit more insight into that? Yes, Clay Lake is a very large uh, area to the uh, northeast of uh, Plan Um We've uh, done uh, a certain amount of, of a lot of sampling in it. We know that it's a, a, a very considerable extent, uh, bigger, in fact, in uh, surface extent than uh, Plan is. Uh, but we've also done uh, trenching, and this has given us some very good results, and drilling also with excellent results. Um, and recently, uh, what we were doing was a, a, a fairly long haul because we wanted to uh, uh, test the continuity in the, in the mineralization. And uh, we'd already seen uh, a 100 meter uh, intersection. Uh, so it was uh, to see could we uh, replicate that in any sense with another long intersection at a slightly different position. Uh, and we've done so. And um, I got two things out of it. One, we were able to replicate a, a long intersection of just over 50 meters. Uh, but the other thing was we, we, we ran the hole down a bit deeper than we usually do. Uh, and uh, we were able to show uh, gold uh, at deeper depths. Uh, and this, of course, means that the uh, overall uh, potential for a large uh, volume uh, is, 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 is very much enhanced. Uh, so we were very well pleased uh, with, with those results. They add to the uh, overall pattern that I was just talking about, the potential for several million ounces uh, in the Glenish Clontibret uh, Clay Lake uh, area, which is in the northeastern part of our license area uh, in, 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 uh, in Ireland. Uh, so it, 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 it adds uh, yet another, as, as it were, positive result to the, the, the really coming together over this year. We had some very, very good drilling results of Clon Uh We have these good results coming in from Clay Lake. Uh, and as we were just discussing, the, the interconnection between Corcus Key and, uh, and Clon Tibbert. So uh, it's very, 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 very positive, very good. We're delighted uh, with it. A lot more work to be done, uh, but it's certainly c coming up very well. Well, There's definitely a lot of work there uh, lining up for you and going into next year. Um, Indeed. <laughs> Richard, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you and uh, we'll obviously keep an eye on um, how you progress. And, uh, and for the investors, I'm sure that there's going to be lots of uh, more follow-ups that will be coming up in the next uh, few weeks and months. 
Indeed. Uh, I, I look forward to that and, and um, to talking to you again. And thank you very much, Robert. No problem. Thanks very much, Richard. Bye. All the best. Bye. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.